It's time for a Bible story. Long ago in the land of Israel, a little baby boy was born. Aw, look at that cute little guy. But this was a very special baby. God had big plans for him. His name was... Wait, 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 let me guess, let me guess. Okay, it starts with an S. Uh, Swimmy, slippy, slappy, Samsonite, uh, Swanson. That's it. Okay, let me just tell you. The baby's name was Samson. Ha! That was way off. After Samson was born, an angel appeared to his mother and gave her a very important message. God was going to use Samson to do some amazing things, but there were a few rules that he would have to follow. Oh, I got these covered. Here we go. Rule number one, don't walk on the grass. No. Rule number two, don't wear black without the blue. No. Rule number three, don't drink orange juice right after you brush your teeth. No. Okay, actually, that last one is pretty good advice. But no, those were not the rules that Samson would have to follow. First of all, he wasn't able to eat any unclean food. Wait, what do you mean unclean food? Like he had to wash all of his food in the sink? Gross. Get ready for some soggy sandwiches, buddy. No, unclean food back then meant things like pork. Whoa, wait a minute. Pork? Isn't that where bacon comes from? Uh, yeah. He couldn't eat bacon? What did he eat for breakfast or or lunch or dinner? If I couldn't eat bacon, I would starve. Wait, why do you eat bacon for every meal? Uh, because America. Okay, well, it really wasn't that big of a deal. He just had to keep a certain diet. More like die it, as in he died from being hungry and sad. Okay, cut it out. That wasn't the only rule, and the next one's even more interesting. Samson was never allowed to cut his hair. As Samson grew up, his hair grew longer and longer and longer, but he obeyed the rule and never, ever cut it. Really? Not even a trim? Like, just the loose ends? Nope. Well, at least he could, like, style it however he wanted, right? Uh, I guess so. Oh, man, I bet his hairdresser had some fun with that. You could give him one of these. Um... Or the ultimate mohawk. Well... The hammerhead. The name tag. The Leia. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm sure he just kept it straight and let it grow out like a normal person. Yeah, that's a good look. Nice do, Fabio. So, hold on a second. Why exactly does he have to follow these rules? Right. God gave Samson a very special gift. Super strength. Nice. At that time, the people of Israel were being ruled by some really wicked dudes called the Philistines. God wanted to use Samson as a mighty warrior that would lead his people. So God gave him incredible superhuman strength. Like, how strong are we talking? As strong as me? Uh, way stronger. I don't know. I can pick up a whole gallon of milk over my head. All right, get this. One time Samson was walking along in the desert and out of nowhere a giant ferocious lion attacked him. Yikes, that's probably the end of the story, huh? Bye bye Samson. Nope, Samson grabbed a hold of the lion and tore it to pieces. Whoa, that's crazy. Give me another one. All right, Samson was trapped in a city by some Philistine soldiers. They locked the huge metal gate and were going to ambush him. But that was no problem for Samson. He just ripped the gates off the city walls and carried them away. Dude, now that's an exit. Bye, Felicia. Hit me again. Okay, one more. Another time, Samson was surrounded by a thousand Philistine soldiers. They all had swords and shields and spears, and all he had was a jawbone from a donkey he found on the ground. Yowza. Looks like that's all she wrote. We'll miss you, big guy. Not so fast. The Philistines charged, but Samson fought back and totally wiped them out. What? He killed a thousand soldiers with a donkey's jawbone? Yep. Man, he really does have some crazy, mega awesome super strength. He could probably do whatever he wanted. Throw a baseball around the earth, arm wrestle a bunch of bears, bench press the pyramids. But remember, he would only have that power if he followed those rules. Ah, that's right. No snippy, no piggy. So what happens next? Does he like save the day and rescue the people of Israel? Not exactly. For years, Samson followed the instructions that God gave him and was a great, strong leader. But after a while, he got a little careless with who he was spending his time with. He met a woman named Delilah, but he shouldn't have been hanging out with her. Why not? Was she smelly? Close talker? No, Delilah was actually a Philistine. Eesh, aren't they like the enemy of the people of Israel? What gives, Sammy? Samson spent a lot of time with Delilah and eventually fell in love with her. Ah, what are you doing, Samson? Come on, man! Samson was getting closer to Delilah and turning further away from God. He even started breaking some of the rules God had given him. But the last one he still kept 
was his hair. Okay, good. Still have the super strength. Yeah, for now. The Philistines came up with the plan to capture Samson, but first they'd have to find out his secret. They made a deal with Delilah to find out what made Samson so strong, and she agreed to help them. What? I knew she was no good. That girl is poison. No kidding. Night after night, Delilah begged Samson to tell her the secret to his super strength. And he held out for a while, but eventually she wore him down and he told her his secret. That if his hair was cut, his strength would disappear. No, Samson, how could you? Late that night when he was sleeping, Delilah quietly cut off all Samson's hair. Philistine soldiers rushed in the room and Samson sprang to his feet, expecting to fight them off like he had many times before. But this time was different. Oh, something's different, all right. Run for it, Goldberg! He tried to run and fight, but his strength was gone. The Philistine soldiers laughed as they tied him up, carried him away, and kept him as a prisoner for the rest of his life. Man, that totally stinks. He had, like, so much going for him. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Samson didn't pick his friends very well. If he had surrounded himself with the right kind of friends, they could have helped him see that he was getting into trouble. Picking the right kind of friends will help you grow. But just like Samson, the wrong kind can destroy you. Got it. Oh, I gotta go. It's about that time. What time? It's bacon 30. Gotta go heat up the stove. I'm coming, piggies! <laughs> uh, the end.